All right. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all West Virginia students sponsored by West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at wvacrao.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, wvacrao.org. Now I'd like to turn it over to our presenter. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for the introduction. I really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Dean Crawford. I am with Mount West Community Technical College. So if y'all bear with me just a minute, I'm going to get my slideshow pulled up and we will get started. Okay, so uh, just to reset everything, again, my name is Dean Crawford with uh, Mount West Community Technical College. I'm Director of Student Recruitment, and first off, I just want to say thank you to my facilitator for setting this all up for me. Uh, thank you for all of you that are attending and willing to sit through this and listen to me talk for a little bit. Um, I hope that it's not just going to be me talking for 45 minutes straight. I have some great videos I'm going to show you all. Um, I can take any questions that you all have, just type them in the Q&A box and I'm glad to get to them. Um, I will have my contact information at the end of the presentation. So if you're watching this may be recorded or if you're watching this you know, down the road at some point, you can uh, still find my information and contact me. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I always like to start out when I talk about Mount West, talking to you a little bit about our mission statement. Uh, a mission statement is very important for any college, and I encourage all of you that are looking at colleges to be sure to read the college's mission statement. It's not just something a college just throws out there because we have to have it. It's not marketing. This is really how we feel and really what we hope to accomplish. So our mission is to prepare students for careers, civic responsibility, and lifelong learning. We value quality education and a learning, learning environment that fosters critical thinking and in, individual responsibility. So, um, you know, fancy way to say that we want you to always be bettering yourself. A college education is not just about coming to college, learning a skill and getting a job. A college education is about making you a well-rounded person. It's about learning different perspectives, being involved with uh, different people, um, learning different cultures. It's about all those things and learning how to make yourself successful out in the career field. So when you come to college, whether it's Mount West, whether it's Marshall, whether it's Wheeling, wherever college you go to, make sure you check out their mission statement and see what it says. It's, it's important. So a little bit of info on Mount West uh, on the screen here. Whoops, sorry. On the screen here, you're going to see some different pictures from around campus. Um, these are all real students that attend Mount West. None of these are, you know, paid actors or stock photos. These are all real students. They're uh, attending real classes at Mount West. So uh, we offer over 60 different two-year and certificate programs. Um, some of our programs can be done in as little as one week. So if you're the type of student who thinks, man, I'm just, I'm done with school. I don't want to go to college. I don't want to sit in a class any more than I have to, you know, check us out because we have classes that you're going to be done in one week, classes you're going to be done in one month. Uh, maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll stay on for the whole two years. So just look at those, look at all our options. Um, we're going to talk about some of those options today in the presentation. But always the best way to know everything that we offer, visit our website. Uh, there you're going to see all the different programs that we offer. The great thing about our website is not only can you see all the programs that we offer, but if you click into the program from the page, it'll show you the average salary outlook for the, pro for the program, 
you can go straight to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and see how the job outlook looks for that program. And you can see right there on the website how you're going to progress through college. So you can see what classes you're going to take your first year, your second year, um, when you need to take your classes. So it's great information. We are located in Huntington, West Virginia. We are literally across the river from Ohio and Kentucky. So if you're an Ohio or a Kentucky resident watching this, uh, you know, you can still come to Mount West. Um, we're just down the road from Marshall University. That's uh, for people who don't know where Huntington is. That's how I usually explain it to them. I say, well, have you ever seen We Are Marshall? You know, that's where we are. So we are just literally down the road from Marshall University. We are an open admissions institution. So basically what that means is that as long as you file out an application and have a GED or a high school diploma, you can come to Mount West. There is no test scores that we need to look at. There is no um, minimum GPA that you have to have. There is any of those other requirements. You can just come to Mount West and start taking classes. Um, our, our tuition is among the lowest in the area. It's just under 4,000 a year. Um, so when you come to Mount West, you're saving a ton of money by coming here versus some of the other four-year colleges or larger colleges. Um, again, just hit this that's supposed to be Ohio, I'm sorry, well, Ohio and Kentucky students are eligible for in-state tuition rates. We got the three locations, our main campus, our Culinary Arts Center, and our Maritime Academy. They're all within about a 10 minute drive of each other. Um, it just, on our, on our Culinary Arts Center, we have two professional industrial sized kitchens. And then at our Maritime Academy, we have a $2 million um, maritime simulator we have uh, different training aids, so you can do all those things um, within about a 10 minute drive of the main campus. Sorry about that. So um, a lot of people when they are looking at college and you guys are gonna have so many options thrown at you whenever you're a senior in high school or when you're just looking for colleges in general, you're gonna, you know, first thing everybody does, go to Google, type in colleges near me. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna get just blasted with colleges that wanna try to get you enrolled. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why you should come to Mount West. We are affordable, we are flexible, meaning if you are, say you're a single mom or say you have an elderly parent that you take care of, Say you have something going on in your life that you can't necessarily be in class every single day. We're gonna work with you and our professors will work with you to make sure that we can work your college around your schedule. So we wanna make sure that you are getting your education, but we also understand that you have a life as well. So uh, some of the bigger universities, you're not gonna get that kind of flexibility. It's not that they don't wanna give it to you, it's just that they're so large that they can't. So uh, we also have small class size. So usually no more than 20 kids in a class. So if you're kind of used to that environment, you're gonna love it here. You can get access to the professor. You can get one-on-one -on -one, you know, attention. Our professors are going to know who you are. They're not going to just simply uh, call attendance and move on and start teaching. They're gonna know who you are. They're gonna kind of know your stories and you're really, and I know it's a, a cliche thing to say, but you're really gonna become a family at Mount West. And that's true. You really do start to uh, hold, um, get a family atmosphere when you attend here. Um, another huge perk that I always throw in there, free parking. I know it doesn't sound like much right now, uh, especially if you're watching this and you're a high school student, but to have free parking in college is amazing. Go visit any college that you want, some of the bigger colleges, and look at the nightmare parking situation is for a lot of colleges. So some colleges you'll have to circle the block maybe 20 or 30 times before you find a space. Some colleges you are guaranteed a space, but you gotta pay for it. And that space could be across the campus from where your actually your class is. So with Mount West, you just come right up the 5th Street Hill here, park, five minute walk, you're in the building. We offer free tutoring. So if you're struggling in a class, if you feel like you need to get something explained to you more in depth than what the professor did, you can absolutely for free attend one of our tutoring sessions that we have here on campus. 
we have peer tutors and we have uh, professors that also tutor our students. So that is completely free to all students that come on campus. So I encourage you to take advantage of that. We have tuition assistance program. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later on about the West Virginia Invest Grant. But we also have um, 90, I think it's 92% of the students that apply to Mount West receive financial aid of some kind. And a lot of students that apply to Mount West end up coming to Mount West for sometimes little to no out-of-pocket cost with things like the FAFSA and the Pell Grant and West Virginia Invest. So um, we have all those different types of programs that we have. Um, again, flexible classes. Um, right now with the current pandemic, while I'm talking to you like this, um, we're starting to look at a lot more into our online offerings. Uh, we also have what we call live remote, where you'll take a class much like this through Zoom, except when you do our live remote option here, you'll see the professor and the professor will see you. So you can actively participate in the class, you can raise your hand, you can ask questions, um, all those kind of different things. And then several of our degrees you can do entirely online. Now, uh, because of COVID, we have shifted a lot to online and live remote, but there are still programs that require us to have in-person learning. And if we do have that program that requires in-person learning, we are taking every step that we can to ensure that you're safe. So temperature checks at the door, uh, masks are required inside the building. Um, <clears throat> there are socially, your classes are socially spaced out, so you can make sure you have the proper social distance from everybody. So if you do have to come in person on our campus, we want you to know that you're gonna be as safe as possible, safe as possible. So financial aid, uh, this is where I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to pay for college. Number one thing, fill out that FAFSA. FAFSA opened up on October 1st. Y'all can go ahead and fill it out right now. If you need help with that, we're here to help you. You can just walk in. Uh, you don't need to make an appointment. I encourage you to make an appointment because that way you won't have to wait. But you can just walk into the campus, ask, say, hey, I'm here to do a FAFSA and we'll take care of you. Um, when you do your FAFSA, it's very tempting to do it at home by yourself or with a buddy or with a mom, dad, whatever the case is. And uh, what I wanna reiterate to you is that there are no two people on this campus or probably any campus that financial aid situations are the same. Everybody has a different financial aid situation. Everybody's probably gonna fill out the FAFSA a little differently. So if you're at home filling that out and mom, dad, buddies with you and they say, well, you know, this is how I did it or this is what you know, I saw someone put, give us a call, let us walk you through it, or even better come in and let us walk you through it. Because we don't want you to miss out on any money that you can get. We don't want you to mess up anything with your FAFSA that might hamper your financial aid. So just come in and let our experts handle it. Uh, make sure that you complete a West Virginia Invest app. Now, again, that's only for West Virginia residents. So, uh, <clears throat> There's some presentations that have already been done on Invest. I encourage you to go back and watch those. We have a video on our YouTube channel that just details all about Invest and how to um, apply for it. So I encourage you to wa uh, watch that. But in the interest of time, I will give you just a very brief overview of it. So that is a last dollar in program. So basically you have to complete your FAFSA and any other financial aid that you're eligible for. And then the West Virginia Invest program will step in and help pay for your the rest of your college tuition. So there are some requirements. You do have to do two hours community service every semester. You have to pass a drug test every semester. It has to be a qualifying program. So it has to be a program that the state of West Virginia has said, yes, this does qualify for invest. You have to agree to live in the state of West Virginia for two years after you graduate. Um, so, you know, it does come with some qualifications, but it's an absolutely amazing program that will help um, take that financial burden off you if you do um, have to pay for have any money that your FAFSA wouldn't cover. So we do have a lot of scholarship opportunities on campus. We do have a foundation that offers different scholarships. Um, there's different scholarships out there that we take. Um, I encourage all my students to go out there and look for scholarships anywhere you can. 
if you got a part-time job or maybe a full-time job at McDonald's or KFC or Walmart or Target or Starbucks or any of these other kind of places, a lot of those places will help pay for your college. So if you're working somewhere, you know, talk to your manager, say, hey, I'm looking to go to college. Is there any way, you know, the company can pay for this? Because a lot of them will. We do have work study programs. So if you want to work for the campus or work for Mount West and have, you know, have a little money knocked off your tuition, you can do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. So a lot of, when you come to Mount West, you're going to save over $10,000 in two years by just attending us first. So say you want to go to Marshall at some point later on. If you come here and attend us for two years and then go on to Marshall, you're saving just a ton of money by starting here first and doing a community college path first before you go on to that larger college. So just like I mentioned Marshall, we do have a lot of great transfer options. Uh, Marshall is one of our great transfer partners. We do a lot of transferring with them, West Virginia State, Ohio University Southern. So uh, you start with us, you do those two years with us, you um, earn that initial associate degree then you can transfer on through one of our great agreements and move seamlessly into one of those other larger colleges. And what you're gonna have over your peers who maybe started right out at a four year, you're saving a ton of money. So you're, uh, the amount of money you're paying for the first two years is gonna be maybe half or sometimes even a quarter of what the other students would have paid for the same first two years at a larger college. So, uh, so y'all don't have to sit here and listen to me talk for 45 minutes straight. I do have some great videos I'm gonna play for you. Uh, this first one is talking about our culinary arts program. Um, a few things I like to tell students about our culinary arts program, it's more than just cooking. Um, it's not just going in there and learning how to make a soup or learning how to make you know a steak or whatever it is. It is business, it is uh, line prep, it is learning how to run a kitchen. It is learning how to deal with people and it's learning really how to operate a small business because a lot of our chefs go out and will leave Mount West. They'll start their own kitchen. They'll start their own business and they do very well. So I'm going to play this little video and this actually features professors and students from the program. to ownership down to line cook so we train for all of that as far as the culinary world goes it's it's very realistic i've always had a passion for cooking but being in the classroom aspect you get the scientific background behind what you're doing and why so whenever you're faced with a real world problem it made it a little easier to tackle that this is my 10th year teaching and every year it's always nice to see the faces of people through graduation, especially the ones that didn't think they were going to make it. And through our support, the college and our program, um, they're, they, when they're successful, it makes us feel successful. So yeah, the voice you saw there, in case you didn't um, catch his name, that's Todd, Todd, Todd Cox. He's one of our awesome professors here at the Culinary Arts Program. And just like he said, your success makes us successful. So all of our professors feel that way. They're all you know, gonna work hard to make sure you get through all of our programs. So this next uh, video I'm gonna play for you is talking about our Maritime Academy. This is very unique to Mount West. There's really not that I know of any other college in the state of West Virginia that has a similar program. Um, this is one of those degrees I was telling you earlier in the presentation that you could, <clears throat> excuse me, earn in as little as a week. So you come out, spend a week with us, you learn those deckhand skills, you get that deckhand certificate, and then 96% of our students that graduate with that are going out and getting jobs literally the same day they get that certificate. So if you like to work with your hands, you like to travel, you know, it's just such a great program. It also offers a, a way to work your way up through the program. You can start out as a deckhand, keep going up to what they get, like what they call steersmen, people that steer the vessel, you can also work your all the way up to like a captain or a pilot's level and you know it's just tremendous 
opportunity for growth. So I'm going to play this video for you and uh, let the people in the program tell you a little bit more about it. Our typical students come in not knowing what they're going to get for the seven day course. This may be their first job they've had or just coming out of a career that being laid off. And once they can go ahead and complete the DECAM program, within like 18 months, they can work into the next degree program, which is the steersman course. And after they do that, they can go into the simulator room, get the experience of being out on the water without actually having to be on the water yet. Once you complete all the programs and become a pilot on the river with the experience, you can be well making over six figures. We are not going to set anyone up to be unsuccessful. We want them to be successful. We want them to have the industry knowledge, you know, to go from the seven day course to having confidence that they can go out and conquer anything. Uh, I did see we do have a question up there, and I promise I will answer you. Uh, it'll probably just be towards the end of the session. So that way I make sure I get through everything. And if for some reason I don't get to it, I will uh, email you and follow up with you. So I will answer your question. Um, so we're gonna keep moving on here. So vet tech, I think I talked a little bit about this earlier in the presentation. If you love animals, if you wanna get in the healthcare field, if you're thinking to yourself, man, I really wanna do the healthcare field, but I don't like people, this is perfect for you. This is what a nurse would be to a doctor. It's what a vet tech is to a veterinarian. Um, it's hands-on training. You, um, you know, the first semester, you're gonna do a lot of in-class stuff, but by that second semester, you're gonna actually be out in the field working with animals, um, and it really provides you an opportunity to make a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and, again, let the people in the program kind of talk about the program. The Mount West Veterinary Technology Program, it's a two-year associate's degree program that encompasses small animals, large animals, exotic animals, surgery, medicine. It, it has it all. Uh, it's very rewarding to actually get to go out into the field, uh, touch the animals in real life, and do the vaccines. Your teacher gets to know you individually, so like it helps out a really lot. And they actually care Like if you miss, then they email you and ask if you're okay. After they graduate from this program, they take a national certified examination to become registered veterinary technicians. In fact, we are at 100% pass rate right now. The need for veterinary technicians in the country today is just astoundingly high. Uh, in fact, it's easier to find veterinarians than it is veterinary technicians. So again, another one of our great programs and the young lady that was in the <clears throat> video saying that about our professors that if you miss class, they, you know, I've had professors call students directly if they have their cell phone numbers and just say, hey, I saw you missed. Or is everything OK? Is there anything we can do for you? Um, that's the kind of one on one individual attention you get at Mount West that you may not get at a larger institution. So pharmacy tech, this is a really in popular um, in demand program. Um, there's always a need for this, especially uh, in this current crisis that we're in. Um, there was just a new story today that said CVS was getting ready to hire, I think over a hundred thousand or maybe, maybe 10,000, yeah, 10,000 new pharmacy techs to help with vaccines and things like that. So this is, this is a great opportunity for you to stay local if you don't wanna go that far from home. Um, even the smallest towns usually have a pharmacy in them. So it's a great way to kind of stay close to home if you want, or um, a lot of students will do the pharmacy tech program to go on to be a pharmaceutical sales rep. And those folks travel all over, they make great money. Um, and the pharmacy tech gives them the base to uh, sell the uh, pharmaceuticals that these companies want. So we're going to play the video here and kind of let them tell you a little bit about their program. I wanted to go into the medical field because I really enjoy helping people. And I feel that that's where my heart is. 
My options when I graduate, I can be either in an inpatient pharmacy or an outpatient, which is either a hospital pharmacy or a retail pharmacy. Mount West is a great option for pharmacy tech. So yeah, just another great option that you have here at Mount West. And again, um, if you all have questions, um, we'll get to them at the end. Um, and if you see anything on here you like, you want to learn more about, contact me, visit the website, and we can definitely uh, get you that information. So uh, this uh, video is going to talk to you a little bit about the health programs that we offer at Mount West. We are very fortunate at Mount West to have a very extensive um, health care lab set up uh, in our building, and we actually have something in our at Mount West that no other community college in the state of West Virginia has. And for my research, I can't find any colleges really around us that have it. So we actually have what's called a plasticized cadaver on campus. And this was a you know real individual that fortunately donated his body to science so he could help out medical students and, and folks who wanna get into healthcare, learn more about the human body. And uh, through a process, he was preserved indefinitely and he can be taken apart and put back together. And you can see how, you know, the vascular system works and you can see the muscle structure. Um, you know, you can see optical nerves and things like that. It, it's, it's a really cool program and a really cool, um, amazing teaching tool that we have here at Mount West. And, uh, this uh, professor is going to tell you a little bit about the health programs in Mount West. The biology department is actually the foundation for all the allied health programs. Physical therapy assistant, respiratory therapy, radiologic technology, massage therapy. And then you have some of the health informatics and medical assisting and those sorts of things. Every semester, the first day, it's just a bunch of eyes just staring at you. Some of them are excited to be here. I don't think they realize what they've kind of gotten themselves into though. We assure them they're gonna learn everything they need to know, but the best part about it is they have fun along the way. When they get their exam scores, it's not unusual for them to be slightly disappointed that it wasn't what they thought it was gonna be. You know, this is a difficult class and I keep reminding them, you have no idea how much you've learned because you're focusing on the questions you got wrong and I'm focusing on all the questions you got right. And it way outnumbers the ones you got wrong. You have to have your little group because you're depending on one another, not just with academics, but with life. You just start seeing these groups start to form and they rely on each other. And it, it, it does turn into a family atmosphere because we all want all of us to succeed. And that's the honest truth. We want everybody to succeed. So the voice there you heard, that was uh, Dr. Adam Swalski. He's one of our amazing biology and, and healthcare professors we have here. And he is there for the students every step of the way. So it's just another example of all the great programs you can do at Mount West. And I play this video because if you're gonna do pharmacy tech, if you're gonna do biology, if you're gonna do pre-med, this is a class that everybody's gonna take. It's the basic biology class. And he kind of touches on all that and touches on the different programs. So um, those of you familiar with the area might be uh, familiar with an organization called RCBI. Uh, that is the Robert C. Byrd Institution, Institute, excuse me. <clears throat> and they are who we partner with for welding and machinist programs. So if you're interested in doing welding or being a machinist or you know getting that type of certificate or degree, these are the folks that we work with. So you'll take your general education portion with us on our campus or online via our campus, and you will do the hands-on technical portion, the actual welding, the actual machining down there with RCBI. RCBI is located right here in Huntington. They're about a 10 minute drive from our campus and they are just absolute wonderful people to work with. And I'm just gonna let one of their students kind of tell you about uh, what it's like being down there. It's like you have the world in your hands. They're making something for the first time. It's like you can do anything. All the RCBI staff is great. If I have a question, I could go to them for anything. It's like being on a team, but at the same time, having individual goals. If we don't quite understand something, sometimes if we put our heads together, we can understand it better. Going through 
the two years here at RCBI, it's probably the most rewarding experience I've had in my life. I feel like I'm making progress towards a goal here. I'm able to achieve something that I wouldn't have going through a regular school. When I'm in the shop, literally time flies. If you enjoy creating things, this is something I would recommend a hundred times, a thousand times, more. It's an experience I can't really describe very well, but it's something I wouldn't give up for anything. Come ready to work, come ready to study, be ready for new challenges, and keep your head up. So uh, yeah, the RCBI program is one of those programs that we have here that um, I just absolutely love to talk about because the students that do that program, it's not just book work, it's not just studying thing, it's not just turning a machine on. You actually get your hands involved in things. Uh, down there at RCBI, they actually have a shop set up where someone off the street can come in and say, hey, I need this part made. Uh, maybe it's a farmer, maybe he has a piece of machinery that has been produced for 50 years and he needs a specific part made. Well, those students will help him design that and will produce that part for him. So it's not just a professor giving you something and saying, hey, do this project. You're actually doing stuff that helps people and you're earning an education while, while you're doing it. I mean, it's, it's just one of those really cool programs. And machinists and welding are folks that we just, we're never gonna have enough of them in this country. We always need machinists. We always need welding. And if one thing this pandemic has taught us is those uh, folks can almost be pandemic proof because we are still hiring them as quick as we can turn them out. And um, you know, there's still a huge need for them. Sorry. So some other programs I'm going to hit on for you that I don't didn't want to bring up all videos for just in the interest of time is animation and game design. If you are someone who loves to play video games, you love that gaming culture. Um, maybe you're really artistic. Um, you, you know, you like anime, you like cartoons. Um, that's a great program to go into. It's a two year program. You can start in it. We work with companies like Microsoft and Sony. Um, you can do a basic wireframe game while you're in that program. Um, accounting, not a very you know exciting program to talk about, but definitely a program a lot of our students are interested in. So if you love numbers, if you love uh, working you know, with businesses to help them succeed, that is a great option. EMT, you can get your a certificate in EMT. You can get a two-year degree as an emergency medical technician, <clears throat> drone technology. That's another really unique program that's pretty unique to Mount West. If you work, if, as you um, go through, you know, our culture now, you're seeing drones more and more. So Amazon is starting to use drones. Um, different companies are using drones, not just for delivery, but for search and rescue for, um, you know, especially during this pandemic, they're using them drones to fly in supplies to, you know, COVID hotspots. So that's a program you can do at Mount West where you actually become a certified drone pilot. Our program is FAA approved, and we have one of the very few FAA certified drone pilots on campus here teaching that program. Uh, criminal justice, if you want to work in law enforcement or you want to be, um, a legal advocate, or you want to help people who's maybe suffered with drug addiction, and you want to work in a rehab and maybe, um, you know, work in that system, that's a great program for students. Transfer studies. <clears throat> if you know you want to go to Marshall, or you know you want to go to WVU, or any of these other four-year colleges, we do have programs that you can come and take on campus that are specifically set up just for transfer. So they are entirely set up for you to take and then move on to the four-year institution. So uh, those are always good to look at if you know that's what you wanna do later on. Like I said before, we do have over 60 different programs available. You know, I cannot discuss them all in the time I have here. So visit our website to learn more. And if you wanna know more about those programs, um, contact me directly and I'm happy to set up a meeting uh, either virtual or in person 
with you and the program faculty that are over that specific program. So uh, our admissions process, pretty straightforward. The first step is you apply. The uh, second step is you send us any transcripts. So if you're a high school student, you'll send us those high school transcripts. If you've attended maybe some college courses while you're in high school, you'll send us a college transcript as well. You'll fill out that FAFSA, we'll complete your financial aid. Um, that means, you know, getting with our financial aid department and make sure you're um, understanding everything that's being offered to you. Also helping with your invests. Uh, you're gonna meet with one of our amazing advisors. It'll either be a faculty member or a staff member like myself, or it could be a faculty member in your specific program, and they're gonna help you build your schedule for whatever the upcoming semester is. So first thing um, I always tell students is visit our campus. Um, if you really wanna see what our campus is like, the best way to be on campus and to know everything that we offer is just to visit. And I know right now that's gonna be hard to do because we are um, we are not like hosting a lot of tours right now, but this will be over and we will get back to that. So I wanna tell you, no matter what college you wanna attend, visit that college, go to the college, talk to people, see what you think of the college and make sure that college is right for you. Um, don't pick a college because that's where your boyfriend or girlfriend's going to. Don't pick a college because you heard they're a great party school and you just want to party. Don't pick a college because that's, um, you know, where your mom or dad went and they expect you to go there. Visit the college, uh, know the college and see if it's really the kind of the right atmosphere for you. I understand that not every single person I speak to is going to love Mount West. Um, I understand that the majority of students probably will love Mount West. So I want you to come or I want you to explore our campus either virtually or in person, depending on when you're viewing this, to know if that college is right for you. So uh, you can make the best decision. So this is just my contact information. Uh, best way to get a, best way to learn more, visit the website, mctc.edu call me directly. My number is right there. Uh, that's my name. Um, or the number above me, I'm sorry, is to my peer coach office. Those are students that work in my office that um, help me um, recruit and help me talk to students and help me do all that kind of stuff. So you can talk to them directly. You can call me directly. You can email me directly. Um, if you got a question that uh, you need answered, I'm, I'm not going to tell you I have all the answers because I don't but I will work my hardest to make sure we find you an answer that works. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this Q&A section here. Um, I did see we have a question. So basically this person is asking, and I'm gonna say without getting into you know personal things, um, basically if you've done something previously, like say you work somewhere and you've done something previously in their life, can that be applied towards a degree at Mount West? And the answer is yes. Now, it depends on what it is, and it depends on when you did it, and it depends on the proof that you can provide to show that you did it. So uh, most of the time, though, yes, we can take previous life experience. Um, say you want to do a culinary arts degree, and you've already been a line cook or a chef somewhere for five years, but you just don't have the degree. We can look at that, and we can apply the credits to uh, our program and make sure that you are getting the, um, are, are going to earn credits based on that, um, based on that life experience that you have. So I, uh, right now it's time uh, to ask me any other questions that you have. Again, if you're watching this uh, live, or I mean, I'm sorry, if you're watching this recorded, um, and you have questions, just visit our website, uh, look at some of the contact information that we have there um, to, uh, to uh, learn more about the college, uh, to uh, you know, see all the programs that we have going on and to just kind of learn more about what we got going on. Um, again, I just wanna say thank you to uh, my facilitator for setting this all up and being patient and great. I uh, just want to say thank you for those of you who are attending live. You know, I really appreciate you being here and, and asking uh, questions. And I just want to say thank you to those of you who may watch this in the future. 
if you uh, sat through this and you know took time to learn more about Mount West, I really appreciate it. And I really hope to see you on campus soon. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to turn this back over to my facilitator and let her jump back in here. Thank you, Dean. All right, let's see here. So we just have a few housekeeping things that we have to go through real quick. Thank you for joining us today. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide us. Also, again, this is just one of the many sessions that we do have to offer throughout the next two weeks. Um, please go to wvacrao.org to see any other options. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other session recordings at WVACRA. Uh, I think our facilitator, our facilitator froze up there. Um, at least on my end, she did. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this on my end. And again, I hope to see you all soon.